72. 72 on the Herbert River. Good night, I woke up at one point there. There's one tick on me. Had to get rid of a tick. Oh boy. They're taking over. It was a pretty good night. It was like a half moon last night. Clear, no wind. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's all foam. Seems like it's going to be a good day. It's supposed to cloud over this afternoon. I'm hoping to be back to the Jeep by about 3 o'clock. So, time to get up. Mm. Get the stick stove going. Get some tea. I need my tea. All right, folks. This is incredible. Hi. Bushwhacking now for just over an hour. I got about 200 yards. I'm trying to get around this. Uh, two falls here. This is the upper one here. Uh, I went down the other side and uh, <coughs> I got about 100 feet with the canoe and realized I couldn't get that way. So I come around to this side. So, well, I'm uh, I'm just uh, packing through the woods here. So, for the next person, if you come through here, instead of falls, go to the right. And I've already cleared a portage trail. So I'm gonna cast my line anyway in this pool here. And see what happens. There's gotta be something back here. God. All right. Day two on the Herbert River. This is my third portage today. It's dragging crap through the woods. I believe this is the last waterfall I come to until I hit a uh, big waterfall up in Rodden there that I'm going to be pulling out of. I'm getting picked up there. So I haven't had cell phone service in probably over an hour and a half. But anyway, I just came around this. I'm going to put in. We're going to shoot down. Ugh. We're going to shoot down this set of rapids. It's probably about 200, 250 meters long. And then uh, we're into still waters for quite a ways then. So, all right. We had lunch. We'll take a little break and then start at her again. This is nice back here though. Very nice.
Late in the day, it's about three o'clock. Well, it's not an easy river to do, so if you're thinking on doing it, you want to have your gear together. One bag, no more. It's going to be portaging. You're not going to have any cut trails. This is the section just before the falls. And as you can see, Jenny picked me up there. The spot over here. I had to come down this hill, up in the back there, and then drag my gear across, and then up the other side. So that's how I get out of here. I'm exhausted. I got hardly any fishing done. Uh, was it worth it? Yeah, Three it was days, worth one it. Night. I'll come back and I would do it again. To make it fun and enjoyable, and be able to fish the areas. God, I would have said two to three nights. Like I said, there's gorgeous spots. All the rapids that I did, I had to scope and pre-check. There's the Jeep. And Jenny's over there. I'm going home and have a tea. So, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Till next time, get outside. And as always, if you're interested in Old Bastard Outdoor stickers, like this, for your vehicle, decals uh, they're free if you send a self-addressed stamped envelope for yourself I'll throw a couple decals in there and send them back out to you so thanks for watching everybody have a good one and we'll see you next time get outside and go play